There are so many books out there. How do you figure out what books to read next? What book is right for me? Hey, Dev Nations. I hope you're having a great day. A common question that gets asked is, I've, there's so many books out there in the world, but how do I know what book is right for me? How do I figure out what exactly to read next? So I wanna go ahead and give you a step-by-step -step thought process behind my methods for finding and picking the right book for me. So it all starts with curiosity. Curiosity is vastly important because you wanna be interested in the actual book and the topic that you're reading. So you can get as broad as you want. In this case, let's say we're interested in biology. Biology is still a very vast topic, right? So we can just go ahead and pick up really any common books that relate to biology. Or if you wanna get more specific, we can start asking ourselves specific questions. What questions do we want answered by the end of our current reading journey? And what is gonna keep us interested throughout our specific reading, right? So we can get as broad or as specific as we want. Once we have our perhaps topic or genre or our specific question or questions in mind, then from there, because we have that curiosity, we're, in, we're actually interested in what we're going to go ahead and read. From there, you want to go ahead and start doing your research in terms of start Googling what are the most common books to read. Start looking up different articles online that may perhaps mention different resources that you can start learning more about. And over time, maybe you spend 10, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, you start finding common themes. Okay, these five books are the most common re commonly recommended books for this specific genre for this question now usually usually not all the time right because sometimes you know we, we tend to recommend things that might not click with you but usually those will be a great starting point then from there let's say you have five books within the specific genre or question you have in mind whatever interests you you take a look at those five books and look at the table of contents what chapters what questions what ideas do each of the sections for each book cover? Do they sound like things that are gonna interest you? Do they sound like questions that you want answers to? If that's the case, great, you keep on with that book. Now, if you notice sections that don't interest you as much, great, then you, you drop that book. So then from there, once you look through the table of contents and you have a better understanding of the structure and sort of what adventure, what journey the book is gonna take you through, then from there, I also recommend checking out the author. What relationship does the author have with that specific subject that you're going to go ahead and read? Are they a complete professional in that specific subject matter? Are they perhaps a different sort of researcher in that subject matter? Maybe they're not completely the professional, but they have such a fascination and they have so much experience around that subject that you know they're still considered an expert even though you know they might not be an expert in the traditional sense right or maybe they have a completely different perspective and they're a newbie in that specific subject but they're coming at it from a beginner's perspective to give you that slightly different perspective right figure out what exactly the author brings in terms of value for researching and adding to their perspective for the overall book for that specific subject because if you're reading a psychology book by perhaps someone that is a musician, it might not connect. It might because maybe they're a music therapist, right? But it probably won't connect as much as if it were a psychologist who has 20 years of experience in the field, you know, being a psychologist. Of course, it's going to have just different relevance. Again, curiosity, be interested and be curious about the actual question or topic you want to learn about and then from there you want to go ahead and look at the table of contents get a better understanding of the structure of the book and the journey that you're going to be taken through and then from there look at the author what relevancy do they have what perspective or perspectives can they bring to your reading journey and then from there i think some added bonuses might help in terms of if you don't have access to the books maybe at a library you can go on amazon Amazon, they allow you to, not all the books, but they allow you to go ahead and take uh, a peek, take like a, a preview look into the beginning chapters of a book. And you can usually find the table of contents there. If not, you can also check out Google Books and that usually gives you at least a breakdown of the overall chapters in the book. Even though it might not give you the specific pages, it usually gives you a breakdown of our right, intro, chapter one to 10, and then, you know, outro or something like that. So those are really great resources to use when doing some research and trying to figure out 
what books are the right ones for you. And of course, you're not always going to have a specific interest or a specific question in mind. And that's okay. Sometimes the right book just finds you. Put yourself in the situation of maybe just getting some inspiration. You know you want to start reading, but you're not exactly sure what you want to start in next. That's fine. That's great. Then part of that process is, all right, you put yourself in a situation where you go to your local bookshop, you go to your local charity or thrift shop, go to the book section and enjoy the adventure. Explore. See if there's a specific title that really calls your name. See if there's some specific book art that really just calls to you and inspires you. Maybe that starts getting your interest. And then from there, when you pick up the book, you look at the table of contents and you say, you know what? This sounds like something I'd be interested in. And then from there, you start getting more and more intrigued and, and you start enjoying the adventure of the book. So it's okay. Sometimes you're not always going to have uh, an interest at every single moment in time. Allow yourself the opportunity to get inspired and to develop an interest or develop new interests th throughout life because there's so many different things in the world. So allow yourself to get inspired by putting yourself in the situations of being at the bookshop, going to a charity shop, going to your library too. If you can't afford to buy the book, that's fine. Go to the library. You can go ahead and rent out books or just sit at the library, walk around if you want to, and see if anything really calls to you and seeks you out. And you never know. Sometimes I found some of my favorite books just by walking around the library or a shop and just, wow, this looks really interesting, right? Or I've found some even more really cool collectible things in terms of books with authors' autographs in it that I never thought I'd find. So they're really interesting a uh, really fascinating and fun way to find new books and interests is just by exploring, being open for the adventure. And don't put so much pressure on yourself either in terms of finding the right book. Sometimes it just finds you. So hopefully these tips, hopefully these little methods and techniques help you find the right book for you and help you on your upcoming reading journey. If you have any methods or ideas that help you on your reading journey, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Of course, this is an exhaustive list. This is just what works for me and what I found consistently works for me in terms of developing my list of readings. So I hope you enjoyed today's techniques. Please feel free to comment down below your favorite one and what really helps you on your reading adventure. Remember, today's a great day to have a great day. So have a great day and thanks for watching.